Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man Prime Time, and you already know you on Prime Time Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video. And you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. For Prime Time. To this day. Oh man, let's go ahead and jump on into this video, shall we? Man, how about your boy Michael Benson? He gonna post on Twitter a picture of Devin Haney showing off his grill and his new little diamond, I guess a canary diamond, I don't know what it is, in his ear, you know. And I guess basically showing, you know, the world from his perspective, this is what your lightweight champion looks like. You know, taking one picture out of his whole life. <laughs> you know, not to mention that he's only 24 years old. You know, he won the Undisputed at 22 years old and is on his second def title defense at undisputed at 24 years old name how many champions have done that my friend michael benson you know you know it's just it's it's funny to me that you know that's the picture he chose to show you know that just shows you you know truly how much he respects Devin Haney, period. Because I didn't see him sharing no picture of Devin Haney on his page when Devin Haney won the undisputed title. You know, it, it's, it's, it's really pitiful. You know, you got old dudes like Michael Benson, you know, feeding through their pages like, ooh, what negative picture can I show of Devin Haney? <laughs> you know, they don't see, I guess. You know, when Devin Haney thanks God and Allah and everybody, you know, after he wins the fight, you know, that rubs, you know, people like Michael Benson the wrong way. You know, it rubs certain media people the wrong way. He's not thugging and knocking out old ladies and, and stealing people purses and, you know, hitting people with cars. He ain't doing none of that stuff. So, you know, you got to go to something else you know this is the most negative thing you know michael benson could find and and honestly i think at 24 years old man if that's the negative thing that you can find mr michael benson boy you you just ain't even you ain't even clear with what you're doing seriously you're not clear <laughs> you're not clear at all that's your negative tactic to defame Devin Haney without defaming Devin Haney. Man, you a sad dude. I want to know what you were doing at 24 years old. You know what I mean? I don't think you won any world titles. I don't think you won Undisputed at 24 years old. I, you know, I don't, I don't think you did any of that. You know, I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. You could be an undisputed champion in uh, in Twitter. You could be an undisputed champion in, in writing. And I, you know, I don't know. You know, maybe, maybe you do got titles in there. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it, it kills me though that this world. You know, like people say. Uh, you know, Javante is the face of boxing. You know, who is Devin Haney? You know, well, Devin Haney got all the belts. You know, uh, Javante is, you know, made that way because of his team around him. Trust me. You know, because I'm pretty sure if Devin Haney had Mayweather behind him and Al Heyman and Showtime and Steven Espinosa behind him, backing him every pay-per-view, he would be doing around 200,000, you know, pay-per-view buys. But if you notice, they, he did, Javante did a million pay-per-view buys with Ryan Garcia added to it. Mm, funny, right? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. We understand. I, at least, I, at least I understand. You know that it's more money in, you know, the Latin community than it is in the Black community when it comes to supporting boxing and and fights and pay per view and things of that nature. So I understand. You know. 
why Javante Tank Davis' last 10 fights have, you know, pretty much been someone of, you know, Latin descent. You know, minus, you know, Rolly Ramiro and, you know, a few other Cubans, but, you know, tomato, tomato, right? So, you know, the crazy thing is, is that, you know, what I mean by tomato, tomato is, is you know, they're all Spanish, they're all Latin descent, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, you know, I, I think Devin Haney and his father are out doing it independently on their own, and that's why you have the lack of support and promotion. And just like now, you know, you don't really see that much of the heavy promotion, and you will as it get closer to the fight, you know, but, you know, for it to be his last fight, last contract with Top Ray, you would think that they would want to please Devin Haney, the champion, this, that, and the third, but no, they're not. Not at all. Not at all. Um, and it's not a knock to Top Ray. It could be final financial issues. It could be other obligations. Who knows? Um, but just the evidence of what you see is, is a lack of, you know, a lack of respect, a lack of promotion, a lack of everything when it comes to Devin Haney. And uh, it's probably going to be that way, you know. Uh, when you keep winning and you keep doing what you're doing like Devin Haney doing, it's just going to only warrant hate. It's only going to warrant haters and people that, you know, are judgmental and, you know, judging like they sitting in his living room or something with him. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure the same people that's doing all the judging, if you went in their closet and looked in their house and you peeled the door behind their room, you would find out a lot of dirt and stuff you wouldn't like. So I, I don't I don't cater to all that. What I cater to is what they handle in the ring. And as long as the outside don't interfere with what goes on in the ring. So, you know, for all the haters and waiters and debaters and, and everybody else, look, man, you know, find something better to do with your life than to just hate. You know, because all that negative stuff you spewing out against him, me, or whoever, it goes right back to you. It lands right back to your life. It don't affect the people that you throwing the hate at. That's the crazy thing about it. The haters don't understand that it, the hate only hurts you. It don't hurt who you hating on. They living their life smiling, profiling, living life, <laughs> looking out the window, seeing a beautiful view. And you sitting in your computer, oh, it makes me sick. Oh, look at him, his gold teeth from 1992. Oh, oh he's he's garbage. Oh, he's pillow fisted. <laughs> yeah, I bet you won't stand there and let him hit you in the face. <laughs> I bet you anything on that. <laughs> so anyway, look, man, I ain't even gonna waste my time on it. As you can see, Devin Haney. The undisputed lightweight champion of the world is not laughing. He ain't thinking about it. He ain't dwelling over it. He ain't crying over it. He is just ignoring it and living his best life. So with that being said, that's all I got for you in this video. Besides May 20th, you know the fight going down between the undisputed champion, Devin the Dream Haney against Vasily Lomachenko. So anyway, with that being said, that's all I got for you in this video. You already know the routine when you leave my house. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV and I'm on social media everywhere. Definitely go to the website, primetimetalktv.com and copy some merch. All right, y'all. Peace, love. I'm out. Till next time.